my name is Nekme Obasogie, and today's topic is about counterfeit materials in Africa. Three months ago, a container loaded with counterfeit drugs was seized by a Nigerian security agency. This is not the first time of receiving such counterfeit materials in the country because last year, a container carrying so-called plastic rice was also detected in Nigeria. Many of these materials are not doing any good to African people because it can exacerbate more health issues and mortality rates in the continent. In most cases, these materials will find their way into different locations in the continent due to the weak security regulations in many African countries. In this case, how can many African countries regulate counterfeit materials in the continent? So, this morning, I sat down with some guests in the studio to discuss about this issue. Listen to what they have to say. Hi, my name is Nekme Obasoge, and today I'm sitting here with Lucy Crisel. Uh, it's okay, Ibie. You guys are welcome to AWE Talk Show. Thank you for Thank having you so us. Much. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you guys for coming. And uh, today we're going to be discussing about a special issue affecting people in Africa. This new trend of uh, uh, counterfeit materials being shipped to many African countries. Um, first and foremost, it affects the, 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 the country economically and socially. Mm -hmm. In the sense that um, when you do have counterfeit um, drugs being shipped into the country, that means whatever drug you're taking, mm -hmm. there's no guarantee you're yes. sure of what you're taking at yeah. that point. Mm -hmm. And that could really amount to a lot of danger to the, to the people in, you know, taking those, um, mm -hmm. those drugs in. Mm -hmm. Because there you're actually wasting money which yes. means all your resources is going into a product that is even counterfeit. Mm. And secondly, it's not even good for your health. Yes. Africa has actually turned into mm. a dumping ground for all this, uh, all those materials, yes. which is not good for our people. How can many African countries deal with uh, receiving counterfeit materials uh, in the continent? Mm. The issue of this um, counterfeit uh, materials including drugs and food, is very, very challenging for the African country. Uh, in fact, it's not um, African alone. It's a global issue, and tackling it is really, really difficult. Um, according to World Health Organization, WHO, um, they estimated that about 120,000 people die every year of um, these fake counterfeit drugs that um, yeah. they import to um, Africa. Even though we have technology where mm. other companies have mm. tried mm. to, you know, issue this um, barcode, mm. as in, you know, recording they, yeah. these medications Medicine, and yeah. medicines. But then um, his company uh, for some 10 years ago mm. did, you know, try to... Um, um, establish um, this kind of code, a barcode thing so that they can be scanning the medication with, for the them, code. with the code. They will confirm the code uh, from the machine. But not everybody can access that machine. I, I read that too. Yes, that is what I'm coming mm. to. Mm. Um, another challenge that we face is mm. even if they have this code, how mm. is it going to help them? Say if, for example, for instance, if I have a grandmother in a village, mm. how is my grandmother going to know how to, you know, scan uh, this barcode code. and know if mm. uh, she or he is going to um, consume the proper medication exactly. which will help them heal from their diseases? Exactly. That's another challenge. <laughs> In most cases, these uh, counterfeit materials will find their way into these countries uh, due to lack of weak uh, security regulations in the continent. In this case, how can many African countries deal with uh, corruption in the system? Uh, do we have, um, what do we call it, the uh, right people? Mm. Right people are saying, how have we educated mm. the people mm. who are the forefront of 
um, ensuring that shipments coming in mm. will not be, you know, allowed straight into the market. Mm. Um, how are the ministers mm -hmm. dealing with the issue exactly. of all these things? Yes. Because if the head is rotten, mm. obviously the body is going to be rotten as, as well. well. Because if a minister mm. who has been entrusted mm. with a position that he or she would have to ensure that whatever consignment of um, counterfeit drugs coming in would be examined yeah. Yeah. by a custom and exercise mm. without, you know, taking any bribe, then I believe that, I believe that yes, we, we, we can um, regulate the amount of counterfeit drugs coming in. So quickly add to that, we shouldn't um, lose sight of counterfeit um, drugs and materials that have been produced within these countries as well. Oh, yeah. That's because we are point. actually looking at the importation of counterfeit exactly. materials coming in. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but right. not all those materials come through, um, through shipment. Not all those materials come through, through um, yeah. for example, uh, from, from, Nigeria, from the ports. Mm. There are counterfeit materials that are still being produced and manufactured. But um later dora akinyele mm. did a lot during her tenure that mm. was when mm. uh, you know um a lot of people actually started having that trust mm. for uh navdak mm. and um thank god for the new navdak um, boss mm. uh Ejofo, that have just you know um taken a, a, a bill now to the house because the 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 sentence uh for Fake counterfeit and fake materials and stuff like that, I think, was 15 years. Mm -hmm. But he's actually agitating and pushing mm -hmm. for a lifetime mm -hmm. sentence because mm -hmm. uh, as far as he's concerned, mm -hmm. based on what he said, mm -hmm. anyone who's who's um, dealing on counterfeit mm -hmm. is as good as you just giving people poison mm -hmm. and kill them mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. your aim yes. is to kill them. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're, you're, you're making mm. money out of their, uh, out of their expense, mm -hmm. out of their, 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 their situation. Mm -hmm. Because the sick, the vulnerable at that mm -hmm. time, all mm -hmm. they're asking for is something to just, you know, keep them uh, yeah. well and well. going. People who are dealing with these uh, lucrative businesses are, um, you know, trying to maximize their profits exactly. at the expense of others, yeah. taking advantage of the situation of mm -hmm. people in Africa. Not that this, they are only trying to maximize their profits. This counterfeit materials can also exacerbate more health issues that's exactly. right we are already facing lack of healthcare in the continent yes. this material is adding more problems so how can we uh, you know eradicate or deal with this problem again it comes back to education if we try to educate the people right. let them understand that listen um when you are sick or when you think that you need any kind of medication go and see a doctor let the doctor prescribe it for you don't go to any locally made um market stall and say you are going there to purchase the medicine mm -hmm. um don't go to any ordinary open uh, pharmacy uh, yes open market, market the pharmacy and say oh um just because i have a headache mm -hmm. um i would have to go there and buy paracetamol mm -hmm. or whatever it is no I think the government should set a tax force or some kind of um, organizations like the NGOs mm. go to the various villages because this affects a lot of people in the village. Mm. Go to the villages, educate the poor, educate the old women and the old men. Let them know that um, their life is premium. It's a gift. They have to treasure what they have. Mm -hmm. So if they are not sure of what is happening to them health-wise, they should go to the doctor for the doctor to tell them where to go. These are big issues that many African people should be conscious of. Mostly those who are back home, if you are watching today, uh, be mindful of the type of drugs you buy in open markets, even in pharmacies, because there are many counterfeit materials out there. They are harmful to people's heads.
Somebody told me uh, something about this uh, drugs that that were intercepted by a Nigerian uh, custom recently, three mm -hmm. months ago. He said, look, you know why this uh, this container was intercepted and reported? It's because maybe the owner of the container uh, didn't pay enough bribe to Nigerian customs. That is why they reported the container. I wish they were able to pay enough money, money. to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That container will find its way into the country. And that particular container was worth about a, a, a billion, a billion euro. I think it's the responsibility of uh, African security agencies to regulate any counterfeit materials that are coming into the continent. Okay, to make sure no counterfeit material find their way into these countries and ensure they protect ordinary citizens from consuming counterfeit products inside the country, especially in rural areas. So, Sister Lucy. Um, I believe that education, mm. awareness mm. is um, the key. Ensuring that um, the government will hire the most qualified people mm. to be at the forefront of mm. point of entries. Thank you. And um, I would like to contribute um, by um, or ending this by mm. saying when these cartels of anyone is being caught involved in mm. um, importing counterfeit mm. products into the countries or even the locally made mm. ones mm. that proper mm. accountability should be given mm. in terms of giving them proper fine mm. that we will actually um, match the, the offense that they have committed mm. or proper sentence being given to them because that is the only thing that is going to actually dissuade others mm. from trying to get into such a business, yes, knowing yes, what the consequences, the consequences will, will be, will, uh, will, will be mm -hmm. at, this, at this point. Thank so. you, guys. Thank you, guys. That's a wonderful discussion today. Thank you, Soke, for coming over. Sister Lucy, thank you, guys. Thank you for having us. See you guys next time. Bye for now.